Welcome back to another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me. This is actually probably going to be uh, Talk Nerdy to Me after dark. is a little more adult. And by adult, I mean uh, there's going to be some liquor involved. Nothing nothing crazy. Uh, so, yeah, I'm your host, Troy Stegner. I am going to unbox uh, this interesting uh, box I got. It's a uh, subscription box. You can opt in or out each month. You don't have to get what they have. You can change what you're going to be getting. But this one kind of kind of got me interested. The bespoke, bespoke. The one I got is the liquor aging. I guess you want to call it. It's uh, got the stuff to age your own liquor see so it comes with two uh, these little I guess they're called staves yeah you can age your, your liquor just like the pros so yeah, instead of a barrel, they give you a little piece of a barrel, so we're going to soak it with that. Uh, you can do cocktails too, but they warn you uh, anything that will spoil, you know, juice, dairy, eggs, you probably don't want to use because you have to leave it in this bottle for uh, 10 weeks or 10 days to two weeks. We're going to go 10 days. Uh, they tell you you should probably use the, the lighter colored liquors. The, you don't want something that's already been aged. You know, like your dark whiskeys and stuff, most of those are already barrel aged and you don't want to. Well, I mean, why double age it? It's not going to help. So, let's see. The general guidelines about 10 days for your first age and a few days for each one. Uh, yeah, they are called staves. They're, each one's good for four to six uses. And we got two of them. Uh, just got to rinse them between uses. And it looks like you add, a, add some time on the aging for each time. So this is our first one. We're gonna do 10 days. And this one will grab one and put it in to start with. And just boop, just drop it right in there. In that little glass. Now it, they recommend, you know, gin, white tequila, pisco. Uh, like I told you, no brown spirits. I, I I'm not a big tequila or gin person. So I went with Captain Captain Captain. Uh, Captain Morgan white rum so as you can see it's it's clear it's not gonna it's not going to be already aged let's see if I can do this without making a huge mess I'm gonna pour some in bloop, 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 bloop. we're gonna fill it close to the top not all the way yeah come on come on come on you can do it. You can do it. Okay, we just fill it up to the neck. Got the little plunger. And we're going to cork that baby. Because we do not want anything to get in or out. So we're going to leave this in there for 10 days. It's going to age the the whiskey uh, is probably not going to be exactly like aging it in a barrel. It's going to be kind of kind of close. So after 10 days, they even give you a uh, a little cheesecloth here uh, when you pour it out because you don't want to drink pieces of the barrel. I mean, it's it's wood and it's got holes drilled in it, so pieces might might fall off and you don't want them to, to drink those. So when we pour it out, we'll, we'll use the cheesecloth and. The best part, they gave us these cool glasses to use. These are really unique. I really like them. This is kind of what sold me. Let's see if you can see that. They have a weeble wobble bottom. So when you fill it up, you just set it there. You're not going to spill it. It won't. It won't fall over because it's it's made for that. Want to mix it? Okay, just spin your glass. That'll mix your drink. So, in 10 days, we're going to come back. I got two of these glasses. And we're going to see just how well this aged. And take a little sip 
on camera for you guys and let you know if it actually does taste aged. So, that being said, we're going to cut away from here. We'll be back in 10 days. Bam! Through the magic of editing, we are back 10 days later. And as you can see, it did age. I mean, it's, <clears throat> it's you know, here is before, poured a little glass, and this is one of the glasses they sent. Love these glasses. Like Weeble Wobbles, they don't ever fall. <clears throat> so let's, let's pour this and see just how well that piece of barrel, the stave, how it, uh, how it aged it. Okay. And uh, I'm using the, the little cheesecloth thingy to filter out any pieces of the uh, wooden barrel that might actually find their way out. All right, well, the moment of truth, let's see. Yeah, typical white rum. And uh, like I, you saw, I used Captain Morgan's white rum. Not bad by itself. Let's see. Wow, it even smells a little different. Just after 10 days sitting in the barrel, or with the piece of the barrel sitting in there, uh, you can see it, it has pulled a lot of the coloring from that. Hopefully it pulls a lot of the flavor from it too. It smells really good, so let's, let's just see. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can definitely taste a little bit more of the uh, the barrel, the smoky flavor. It's oh man, that's really good. That's just after ten days. So I mean, I, I'm sure if I let that sit in there longer, it's going to get maybe a little darker, a little more of the uh, the, the barrel, the barrel aged taste. Uh, the white rum is, is was good by itself, but ooh, that aged. That's so good. And that is. Uh, from my bespoke box. So yeah, I think I'll give these guys another try. That was really, I'm really happy with how that turned out. In fact, I think the, the other box I just ordered today, uh, the good thing about bespoke is you can subscribe, the box comes up. If you don't like that box for that month, you can choose a different box, one of their other boxes they have available. If uh, that month, you don't like any of the boxes they have available or the one you want is sold out, you can tell them you just want to skip a month. So you're really uh, kind of, you're not tied in too heavily to uh, getting a box you don't want. So that being said, wow, that was really good. I'm really happy with that. So for the bespoke box, we got the aging glass with the lid. We got two of the barrel staves. Uh, like aged pieces of barrel with some holes drilled in it. Uh, you got the, the cheesecloth for when you're pouring it so you don't get any of the pieces of the barrel in your, your glass. And then you got these two cool glasses that are, I guess you call them cantilever on the bottom. They're like weeble wobbles. You're not going to drop them. So I can put my drink in there and just, if I've had one too many and I reach for it, I'm not going to knock it off the table. It'll just roll. So, bespoke box. Well, this one was well worth it if you like uh, if you like drinking your rum, which I do. Or actually, you can age any any liquor you want, uh, clear liquor. You don't really want to age something that's already aged. Uh, maybe you can even throw some other stuff in there with it. Maybe you, you like orange. You want to throw some orange rinds in there too. Totally up to you. But the, those uh, those little pieces of barrel do make a difference. Okay. Uh, that being said. If you like this video, enjoy it, want to see more like it, please subscribe. It really does help us with the metrics. And uh, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well just hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I put up a new video. Woo. Yeah, that's hitting me hard. That's good stuff. Okay, uh, there you have it. The bespoke box, worth the money in my eyes. So until next week, uh, next week? I think it's coming next week. Until the next video, we'll leave it then. Later, nerds. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or eat? What game?
kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG. 